Wow, being here really brings back a lot of memories, walking on this field and remembering all the sounds from the football game and running onto the field the night of the game and hearing the band play and all the people cheer, hearing the cheerleaders and just all of the, the, the sounds and all of the smells, all the sights, remembering all those things, it just really brings back a flood of emotions. And you know, the thing about football is I really learned a lot of life lessons, a lot of difficult times. I'm like most people, I really didn't enjoy practice, but what made practice bearable was the game. It was hearing all these people, it was being here, and it's almost like our whole community came together on that Friday night. But not only did I learn life lessons, I learned a lot about friendships. You know, that was the thing about football is you have to learn to depend on one another. You uh, have to learn who's gonna be where and what's their assignment and things like that. And to this day, a lot of them are still good friends of mine, made lasting friendships through this sport called football. I like what Vince Lombardi said. He said it this way, the achievements of any organization or team are the results of the combined effort of each individual. I mean, think about what Vince Lombardi was saying. He was saying the achievements of the entire organization are not based on one individual. It's based on everyone working together. Then, and only then, do we find success. I mean, I want you to think about it. The times you've been to a sporting event, you did not come to see one person. You came to see everyone. I mean, what good is a quarterback if he doesn't have a receiver? And what good is a running back if he doesn't have an offensive line? Everyone works together. You know, unfortunately, there's a lot of people that go through life and they never have anyone to work with. They sort of like live life on their own, sort of like life by default rather than on purpose. Uh, there's no purpose about their life. And life was meant to be an adventure meant to have relationships. I love what Jesus said. He said, I've come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. In other words, to have a full life. And the question is, do you have a full life? I can promise you this, if you're doing life on your own and for yourself, you don't have life. So I challenge you, I challenge you even as you view this video, let's do life together. Let's not do life by ourselves, but let's do life together. Are you ready? Are you? Are you? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you ready? Estás listo? Are you ready? So the question is, are you ready? Life is meant to be an adventure. So let's do life together. The question is, are you ready for life?
and now embraces the reality of eternal salvation because of what Jesus has done. Ms. Tina, God bless you and thank you for doing this for thank us. Thank you. I, I would like for you just to, to tell us about how your life began and about your understanding of who God was. Well, I came to America in 1951 from East Turkey and the uh, and minute I landed on the, on the New York beautiful big city, I saw a big cross. I knew that America was blessed. Uh, when I was a child, my, me and my mother was very, very, very close. We loved each other so much. And my, the, my mother did, never did tell me. My sister said, uh, before you was born, her big sister, their boss, all the older people, their boss in a Muslim way, and said uh, they took you to abortion, you know, because mother was a little crippled and she was very poor. She couldn't take care of third child. I was number three. And uh, so they went, I don't know what they done, they done something, and uh, she said, you're okay now, go home. About three months later, my mother felt a kick in her stomach. Oh, she said, I'm so happy. My baby's still in me, she's not, she's not gone, you know. <laughs> and bless her heart. dedication service will be July 8th during the 11 o'clock service. If you'd like to participate, please see the information table. If you have a good place to hang one of our Independence Day posters, please stop by the foyer and pick one up and help us spread the word. We need some volunteers and some help ironing and preparing the flags for this weekend. If you're available during the week, please call the church office and let Kathy know. In preparation for our big Independence Day celebration next Sunday, we will be having a church workday this Saturday from 8 until 2. There will be plenty of inside and outside jobs, so please make plans to be a part.
Let's play a game. Lost. What does it mean to be lost? To look around, to see no one, to see nothing. You're just lost. It's almost overwhelming to even think of the word lost. You know, just for a few moments, I got a sense of what it must be like to be lost in the Gulf and to look around and to think, is there anyone here? Is anyone going to come? I mean, what would it be like for the person that was stranded? You know, and what I discovered is that when people go out on the boat, they're going out to have fun or they're going out fishing, but they never go out with the intention of, I'm going to be stranded, I'm going to be lost, and I'm going to be by myself. They just wind up there, whether it's a boat fire or whether it's bad weather, whatever it may be, they find themselves there away from safety. You know, life is a lot like that. We sort of just get caught up in life and then we find ourselves away from safety. And we wonder, how do I get back home? How do I get back to dry land? How do I get back to that safety? All I can say is when they got me out of the water, I got back on the boat, and I got back on dry land. Wow, it really felt good to be home. Pastor Perry Dismore of Panama City, Florida, just an average man trying to do his best to preach the Word of God. But on Friday, October 9th of 2009, Perry Dismore will attempt to break the world record in basketball for the most free throws in one hour. Perry will become a spiritual superhero. Currently, the world record is 1,663 free throws in one hour. 
but Terry is determined to shatter that record and with your help shatter spiritual strongholds around the globe. You can become a spiritual superhero by collecting financial pledges for each free throw Perry makes. Just a few pennies per shot can make a difference in ministries around the world like Joyland in Kenya, providing life's necessities for children. Fountain of Life that provides food and education for children in Bulgaria. Or your pledge can even help teach job skills to women in Pakistan. Partner with Perry Dismore, BGMC, and the West Florida District of the Assemblies of God to bring baskets of blessing to our world today. Would you care for another biscuit? No, oh, no, thank you, Miss Abby. I'm afraid I won't have an appetite for dinner. Oh. You see, I always eat too many of your biscuits just to taste that lovely jam. Oh, well, you haven't even tasted the quince yet. Oh. Yes, we always put a little bit of apple in it just to take the tartness out. No, thank you. Well, we'll send you home with the jar. Oh, no, thank you, Miss Abby. Why don't you just leave it here so I can have the pleasure of tasting it with your lovely biscuits? Oh. You know, I do hope they don't make us use that imitation flour again. What with the war and all? Now, I know it's not very charitable of me, but, well, I'm beginning to think that this Mr. Hitler isn't a Christian. Yes, if only Europe were on another planet. Oh, yes. Europe, sir? Yes, Teddy. Point your gun the other way. Gun? Teddy. To the west. There's your danger. There's your enemy. Japan! Yes, yes, of Teddy, course. Teddy, please. No, Aunt Tabby, not so much talk about Europe and more about the canal. Oh, well, let's not 